Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Broku no Hero. And finally, for the first time in... I think it's been a while since I've done a My Hero Academia video. And holy crap, guys. The manga is really picking up. You know, just a few months ago, a lot of people, including myself, were kind of concerned with Deku getting, you know, these six quirks. And... And then Horikoshi turns around and makes it a much better situation than what a lot of people thought. Deku is not just getting a six fork right away. In fact, he just has one extra one that he can't even use at full power yet. I think he has to use it at like 8% to even use it. So it's going to be a great progression for the rest of the series. And I'm going to make a video just solely on that because I actually kind of like that the way Deku's future arcs are probably going to go based on him having multiple quirks that he's going to have to not only discover, but also develop. So, if you guys probably haven't guessed, this will be a manga spoiler video. I'll be talking about the recent manga chapters. So, if you want to be spoiled, then just watch. If you don't want to be spoiled, we'll read the damn manga, guys, and then come back and watch this video. But anyway, as you can see by the title, My Villain Academia has been basically the name of the series for the past few weeks because we're getting an arc surrounding the villains of the My Hero Academia universe, which I really love. You know, I've seen and read over a dozen anime or manga, and I've never really seen a villain arc, or I just don't remember one that is like this, where it is this good and we are really getting not only information on these villains, but getting them developed as well. And it started out really cool. Now, first off, before I get into this, I'm really glad that Horikoshi is going this way because for a, I don't know how many chapters before this villain arc, I was pretty bored with the My Hero manga. Now, overall, I still love it. Of course, I love the anime. The My Hero Academia anime is just god tier. But the manga, you know, after the overall arc, we had, you know, the gentle fight. That was okay. That was good, actually. Then we had the, the Endeavor and Hawk moment against the high-end Nomu. But a lot of the stuff, you know, since the overall arc has been pretty boring to me. And now with this arc, it is really starting to pick up again. And so, basically, we have the Liberation Army led by Redestro, and we kind of got this foreshadowed before. It's really cool. Horikoshi is really good at putting little tidbits into his manga early on, and that is the foreshadowing for later, because I believe that we met Destro and learned about him and learned about his book. I don't remember what chapter, but it was, I think it was like at least like 30 chapters before they reintroduced the Litera Re Liberation Army, the, you know, Redestro, the guy who looks like the Joker and the Penguin had a baby, and... It's really cool that we're getting sort of a war between the Liberation Army and the League of Villains. The League of Villains who have been terrorizing our main characters for, to us, it's been years now. Because, you know, the manga's been out since 2014. Uh, I've only been watching My Hero for a bit over a year. But anyways, they've been terrorizing the characters for years and, ch and the chapters and, you know, almost a year in actual story time. But now we see this villain group that was struggling against kids, you know, students at UA. And now they divided a big baddie group. And so the Destro group, they look really cool. I like the, the character designs. I like the kind of the backstory, the lore, you know, being, you know, you know, like part of Destro, part of the Liberation Army of people, you know, metahumans, people with quirks, you know, trying to liberate them. And then, you know, the League of Villains. And we got to learn... A lot more about the League of Villains. We learned that the Doctor, finally we learned this, the Doctor who was introduced very early on in the series, he's back and he is bad. He is a part of, you know, the League of Villains. He is a, uh, allies with All for One. So this is a theory for a long time that people thought he was evil and yeah, he's not a good dude. He's the one who creates the Nomus, which I thought was really interesting to see. And so we find out about and what before i get next it was really cool to see the league of villains fight against basically the kkk of the my hero verse the like anti-quirk people i really thought that was like an ode to the kkk and it was funny how they just mopped the floor with them and killed them all but anyways we see that all for one basically left behind something for them and that was i believe his name was gigantomachia i don't know how to pronounce it but it's this giant dude who was an absolute beast and basically he basically only respects all for one and doesn't respect Shigaraki yet and Shigaraki has to earn his respect 
and basically has to develop and improve himself upon that. And basically, Giganto Machia like fights all the League of Villains by himself for a long period of time, and he is pretty much effortlessly defeating them. And this just shows that the League of Villains has a long way to go, not only to progress themselves as good villains and good characters, but they need really big power buffs. So we know that Giganto Machia will follow Shigaraki wherever he goes, and with Destro and the Liberation Army basically calling out the League of Villains, calling them to the city, he's like, okay, Shigaraki's like, let's, let's go here, we'll fight them here, and Giganto Machia is going to follow me wherever I go, so this is going to be pretty intense. And so they go to the city, and the fight has basically just begun in the last, you know, I think it was chapter or two where the fights have really begun, and Toga has a really interesting, just kind of a flashback that we get to see, where she, when she was in school, she used to have this mask, and then, like, something happens and her mask breaks, and we see this really weird flashback of this guy that she knew that looked exactly like Deku. He looked exactly like Iziku Midoriya, and people are trying to theorize what the hell is going on here. What is this? Is this Deku? Or is this somebody who just looks like Deku? And this has begun, made people begin to theorize, is this Jack? Because if you don't know, there was the one shot called My Hero that released before the release of My Hero Academia. It was, you know, a one shot created by Horikoshi. And in this series, it, the character's name was Jack Midoriya. And he looks somewhat similar to Deku, or Iziku, but is, you know, definitely different. And so it'd be funny if they, this kid was named Jack, be kind of an ode and a callback to one of Horikoshi's original crea creations, the precursor to My Hero Academia. Anyways, I'm ex super excited for the fights that are going to go on here. It seems this entire city is encompassed with people that are part of the Liberation Army, people that have been training for this, so if this entire city, or most of the city, is against the League of Villains, and the League of Villains is not that big of a group, how are they going to survive? How are they going to win? Probably involves Giganto Machia coming in and destroying them all and is a battle of this magnitude a battle this big between two villain groups is that going to attract heroes are pro heroes going to arrive or students you know characters that we've already known and love are they going to arrive to the scene or is this going to be kept to a villain arc which honestly i think that'd be kind of cool just to continue the development of shigaraki in the league of villains shigaraki has been a decent villain I have kind of gone both ways on him. Overall, you know, I like him, but he needs to get to that all-for-one level, and I think that this arc is going to get him there. This arc is probably, in the intent of it is to build up Shigaraki, build up the League of Villains for when shit's going to hit the fan, and we need to believe that these villains can not only accomplish their goals, but we have to be terrified of these villains. We have to feel that terror. You know, throughout most of the series, never really been scared of them, you know, I've never really felt that the League of Villains were gonna succeed, even with All for One, they just felt like they weren't that powerful of a group, I mean, it was decently hard for them to take Bakugo out of that, you know, when they were at the campgrounds, that was just a bunch of, you know, first year students, and there was, I guess, some heroes there, but they were somewhat struggling against first year students at UA, and this is a, you know, a they're the the, the the equivalent of a pro hero. They're a they're a villain group. They should be equivalent to pro heroes, but year one students are really trifling with their issues. So this arc is a perfect idea to build up the League of Villains, make them a lot more fearful, a lot more serious, and you know, we can't it's gonna be to a point where we can't just think that the League of Villains are not gonna do this. So I think that it'd be cool if, you know, in a future arc, not only after this arc where the League of Villains are built up, but then a future arc, they actually are very successful after that as a villain group. Not just fighting the Liberation Army, but fighting pro heroes. Like, maybe pro a few pro heroes are down, out, a few pro heroes are killed. Or even, like, at this point, year first year students that are in Deku's class, Class 1A, or even Class 1B students, they have no business dealing with the League of Villains, because the League of Villains have progressed as a group, and are just too strong now to be dealing with low-level heroes like Class 1A. Although, Class 1A are first years, but still, they are very talented in their own right relative to pro heroes. 
anyways guys that's my thoughts my villain academia is great right now you guys should read the manga i'm gonna leave a link down below to viz where you can read the manga chapters the recent ones for free or you can pay two dollars a month to have access to all my hero chapters and many other series like black clover all of dragon ball all of bleach all of naruto all of toriko so many series that you can read all their chapters if you pay two dollars a month but anyways guys thanks for watching please do leave a like comment and subscribe Turn on notifications to be notified. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Plus.